Hi guys, I'm Tiana Michelle and welcome or welcome back. First off, I would like to thank Carol's daughter for sponsoring this video. I have a super quick hair routine today because I don't know about y'all, but sometimes wash day can feel like a marathon. Spending two, three, four plus hours on your hair can be exhausting and I don't always look forward to it. So this video will be about showing a hair routine that you can do in about 30 to 45 minutes while still maintaining the health of your hair. I'm starting off by wetting my hair and as you can see, I'm not sectioning my hair off because I'm a little short on time today. Now that my hair is fully saturated, I'm going in with Carol's Daughter Wash Day Delight Water to Foam Shampoo. It gently cleanses my scalp without stripping my hair of its moisture. It's made with aloe and micellar water and I really love the applicator nozzle because it doesn't tangle my hair up and also the shampoo just feels so nice on the scalp. It's not cool in the sense of like peppermint oil or anything like that, but it just feels refreshing to my scalp. I really enjoy that. Now I'm just using my finger pads to remove any dirt and buildup on my scalp. And I just think it's so cool that the shampoo foams up. I've never used a shampoo that foams and I really felt like my hair was getting clean, but it didn't feel dry at all. In fact, it felt even more moisturized than before I began washing. Look at my hair, she's happy. She is clean. She is refreshed. Relajada. Now I'm just rinsing that shampoo out. I only work it about halfway through my hair and then I allow the water to rinse the rest of it down. Now I'm going in with the Coco Cream Curl Quenching Conditioner for very dry, curly to coily hair. Now I am completely shocked about this one because this is a rinse out conditioner. And you guys know how hard I cape for deep conditioners, but my hair honestly is at the healthiest state that it's been in a very long time. And I'm finding that I don't need to deep condition weekly like I used to. So on the weeks that I don't deep condition, Condition, I see myself using this product again because it has so much slip. The brush is gliding through my hair with ease and I'm just in awe because sometimes detangling can be a workout for me. Also, the packaging on the bottle states that this conditioner is an instant intense moisture system and I think that's why it moisturized my hair so well without being a deep conditioner. Since my hair is not sectioned off, I am continuing to run the brush through my hair as the conditioner rinses out just to ensure that there are no tangles. And now I am gonna go ahead and twist that side of my hair up and clip it out of the way. Then I'll repeat the same steps on the other side. To start off my styling, I will be using the Coco Cream Coil Enhancing Moisture Butter. 
and I did go ahead and style my hair in the front. If you watched last week's video, then you would know that I said I love this hairstyle so much that I will be doing it again. So if you're interested in seeing how I did this braided headband, you can just go back and watch my last video. So I'm taking the product and applying it to my hair. Then I'm going in with the detangling brush to ensure that the product is being evenly distributed throughout. And also look at how little shedding I experienced. That is crazy. Now I will be going back and trying this product with a braid out, but for today I will be doing a wash and go because Wash and goes, I can finish in about 15 to 20 minutes in comparison to braid outs, which take like two days to dry if I don't sit under a dryer. But for my hair texture in particular, butters and creams do not provide hold for me with wash and goes. So I am going in with the gel on top of this cream. And what it's going to do is give me the definition that I want, but the results are going to be very soft and it's going to fluff up a lot more as the days go by because there's such a moisturizing product underneath that gel. And lately I've been doing this new wash and go method where I go ahead and take a brush and make sure all the product is evenly distributed. Then I will shingle my hair. And after I finish shingling, I would take a styling brush to my ends to clump those curls together. And I've been really enjoying this method. My wash and goes have been looking so bomb. Now I'm just finishing up with my hair. When I'm done, I'm going to sit under a hooded dryer for about 30 minutes and then I'll allow my hair to air dry the rest of the way. All of this excess product that you see on my hair, it will be completely gone by the time it is dry. And here are my final results before my hair dries. And I am really impressed. My hair looks so defined. It did not take long to do. It smells amazing, okay? Like I wish you could smell it. I got so many compliments on how my hair smells. And I'm just in love with the style. I'm in love with the products. It made my wash day so easy that I was shocked because I just didn't know that I don't have to spend hours and hours on my hair on wash day. You know how sometimes you have to scrunch the crunch out after your wash and go dries? I didn't have to do that at all today. And that's all thanks to these products by Carol's Daughter. Here are my results once my hair completely dried. Now I'm going to end the video here. Comment down below and tell me what you guys think. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and remember that your support helps me out so much more than you know, especially as a smaller and newer channel. If you haven't already subscribed, I'm gonna leave that button up there for you and I will see you all next Friday. Bye-bye.